Hello there folks, and welcome back to the Resident Evil Remake for the GameCube. Now, when we last left off, we were just about to start our quest for the final Death's Head Mask. Which, you know, should be a jolly fun outing. Let's put this away for a start. Need my lighter. And we're gonna need some heavy ordnance of sorts with us, so we'll take Mr. Shotty along to protect us from the monsters. Uh, do we actually need anything else? No, shouldn't do, should I? Because I think... Yeah, I didn't actually pick up the blue stone, did I? No, I've left that. Okay, cool, that's fine. There's a couple of items in this game where it's actually better for you to not pick them up. Better for you to leave them exactly where they are. And then collect them on your way to the puzzle, therefore. It's all very weird and complex, but it works out in the end. What? Oh, you're shitting me, right? Balls. Okay, fine. Obviously, I've gone through that door a lot more than I realised. Which... Well, not good is, you know, not particularly taxing either. I should be able to dodge down this hallway, you know, more or less okay. See, the one guy's going to be behind me, isn't he, when I come out? Yep, there he is. Okay, now... Where's the other twat up here, though? I can never rem Oh, shit! No, no, no! Ah, fuck. Oh, well. Guess you'll manage to light up his life, anyway. Or his unlife. Whichever. Okay, fine, though. Let's start off this quest. That was, uh... Probably not the best start to the game, actually. But we'll have to live with it, I suppose. Ooh, cutscene time. Richard. No, not Richard. You're wounded. Really? How did you notice? Old place. There's all the tomato soup. He seems to have splashed over himself. There are monsters. Monsters, you say? What did this to you? He just said, "Love monsters." Big snake. Ooh, God. Poisonous. poisonous? Richard, hold on. Okay, Jill, you need to stop echoing every word he says back at him. Serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. You really shouldn't promise that. That's kind of cruel, really. Oh, well. Don't worry, Dick. We've got it all sorted. Quickly. Do love the way the game does it, just to remind you, in case you haven't been paying attention to everything you've seen. You think they get rid of that bit for hard mode? I can understand why they do it on easy, but truly, with hard, they force you to rely on your own memory a bit more. Oh, whatever. Let's see, quickest way is going to be going along, along the western balcony. That should take me back into the main corridor. Down the stairs, and that should be the serum room. You know, presuming I'm actually remembering how to get there, even vaguely accurately. Oh, I do love the view out here, though. So pretty. You know, in a horrendously scary kind of way, but still, very pretty. Lots of moths around here, though. Dirty things. Through the steel door. The supreme spookiness. Now, there should be... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Um... I'm going to have to shoot you, aren't I? Ah, feck. Oh, feck. Well, just light up his life, Joe. Or unlife. As the case may be. Yeah, don't you get any ideas either, Gimpy. Doo -doo. Woo! Dodging like a pro! Ah, miss me, sucker! I'm invincible! And when I'm not, I've got a taser, so... Up yours. Right, what do I need to do this properly? Uh, shouldn't need anything else. So, let's just peg it. Which I mean run, not die. It's, it's a whole thing. You know what I'm saying? No? No, no, whatever. 
Run! Run away! Run away! If I could not get caught on the banister. Oh, feck off. Come on, really? Damn it. It seems actually a lot harder in. No, not harder. A lot easier, even. In the original PS1 version of this game. Because the AI would swivel the character models to, um, more or less on 90 degree pivots. Which meant if you could back up against the wall, the zombies would almost walk straight into the wall trying to get at you. Which meant you could get around to the side they couldn't grab you from a lot easier. Unfortunately in the GameCube version, they sort of track a uh, sort of an attack point towards the centre of Jill's character model. And they'll focus on that as they try and make their way towards you. Which makes it a lot easy well, a lot harder. See, I keep messing up easy and hard for some reason. But it'll make it a lot harder to trick them into, you know, walking you into a wall or some such so you can dart around them. Which is very irritating in many respects. <laughs> oh, we've got our serum now. We can heal Richard. And get on with it. Oh, another cutscene. Awesome. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. A shot? With what? We've got Jill. an ampule of serum. Here's my Unless you... Ah, you're gonna do the old-fashioned thing. Smash the glass top and then jab the thing into his arm, eh? Kinda hardcore, but whatever works, I suppose. Does it ever not hurt? Nitrius, I really can't hear what you're saying very well. So I want to turn the volume up, but I don't want to start leaning around messing with controls because I'll pick up horrendously on this microphone. Assuming some of the other noises going on in the background don't. Yes. Right. Now this this is a bit of rather annoying toing and throwing. We've already gone to and from this area once. We'll have to go. Ooh, crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. Ah, nice try, sucker. Not gonna work now. Because I'm dodging like a pro! Ah! They call me the Stairmaster, yo! No, they don't really, because that'd be weird. But if they did. No, I'll stick by my first. Yeah, that'd be weird. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, love toing and throwing, that was it. Fuck, it's dark in here. Where? Ah, there she is. Actually, couldn't see Jill's character model for a second there. An elite candlestick. Hmm, if only I had a lighter. You're kidding me, right? This tit did not just smash his way through the door after me. Hmm. Actually, no, 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 no. This could make it easier. If he's in this room with me. When I eventually have to flee, uh, let's plan this out. When I eventually flee, yeah, so we'll work nicely actually. Because he'll stay in here, he won't smash through the door twice, that never happens. Which means, since I never ever have to come back to this room, yeah, that'll work. Now let's try and. Dodge past him again, keep him walking around. Ah, tried but didn't succeed, sucker. Ooh, is that more hammer? I want the hammer. Jill. Ah, there we go. Sure, what the hell happened there? I seem to glitch back with half a second. Right, you keep following me around the table, Mr. Zombie. Now, let's get the one. Hmm. No, actually, no. Let's play this safe. I'll, I'll keep him chasing me for a little while first. Come on, numbnuts. Oh, you could not be kidding. You've got to be kidding me. He could not be stuck on that. Because that would be stupid. Come on. That's it. Follow the point. When you're supposed to be turning right here, you should be following that point on Jill's character model. Swivel, you bastard. Swivel. Oh, for God's sake. 
I didn't want to have to shoot you, but if you're going to be stupid about it, I will. That'll do. Right, well, he's on the floor. Let's see if I can lure the one in here out. Because I always remember this. Thinking it was so unfair to have a zombie hidden in there like that. I suppose it makes sense. He, probably a chap who hid himself in there when the infection broke out, but had already been bitten or some such. Right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now you get up? What I mean, a. No, don't you pissing reload now? No, but actually, it doesn't matter if I've killed you, because I'm not coming in this room ever again, am I? So, no, that works just fine. Okay, that's the second half of the musical score. You may be thinking, wait, second half? Well, yes, there was a first half, but I've never shown you uh, me getting it, so. Ah, oh, good, he's not a crimson head. That worked just fine then. Okay. And he's already cleared out of the corridor. This actually worked out pretty well. He's kind of hit and miss as to whether these sort of things will actually happen. Um, against a bit of random chance stuff they threw in here. There are a couple of different points throughout the game. Uh, hey Rich, how's it going? There are a couple of different points throughout the game where it's possible for zombies and other horrendous monstrosities to smash their way through the doorways that traditionally speaking for Resident Evil games allow you to separate yourself from one encounter to the next. Uh, as a random point during the game, at least during the early game anyway, uh, zombies and such will break through these doors as you've just seen happen. Uh, it has already happened during this let's play as well. The one on the landing area above the medicinal room was probably the first example of one of those interlopers. However, at the time, I think I ran straight into the save room, didn't I? So we never actually saw him uh, even make his entrance, or indeed really see him moving about at all. And by the time I came out again, obviously that danger event had passed, and he was just, as far as the game is concerned, another zombie that happened to be in that area. Which is nice and all, but not particularly useful. Room correctly. Is he gonna do it? Yeah, there we go. See the door next to me that's banging? Because if I stay in this corridor too long, the zombie that's in the corridor through that door next to me will eventually smash his way through. Yeah, get rid of that key. Need the space. <laughs> Which is kind of nerve wracking when you think about it. Not the key thing, I mean, no, the zombie isn't. Don't really care much for the keys one way or the other. It's a very swanky little area, isn't it? Like a miniature bar lounge kind of thing. The employees to come and relax in. All very posh and stylish. I should have this sort of thing in more workplaces. It could improve morale. Let's combine the music scores. Now, uh, the one thing I will say is for some reason when I capture this, it doesn't capture uh, the audio of certain uh, sequences. I'm not entirely certain why. I mean, it's got something to do with the way they're coded. But basically, it will not capture them, even though it plays them on my screen, so... I've had to improvise a little. Not actually sure how the final result will look for you guys, but... Hopefully it'll be, you know, audible, and uh, won't clash too badly whatever's going on on screen. I did have to resist the urge to do something silly like I did with uh, Final Fantasy IX and <laughs> uh, the clear and dance ceremony, but like I say, I like the Moonlight Sonata too much to screw with it. This should work out nicely. There we go. It doesn't have the same air of finality to it, but the proper version does have, I know, but admittedly, it takes me a long time to edit these as is without sitting around trying to puzzle out how to make the music fit the way it was edited for the game. Low days passing is arriving on the estate. How do you end about this? Guy in a lab coat came to me with a plate of skimpy meal and said to me, What's skimpy meal? No, but he didn't say that, obviously. 
You must know because you had the blade. But whatever. <clears throat> there are two people who know the secret of this mansion. Suspenser and myself. If they kill me, Suspenser will be the only person who knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I... I hope they're alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. Dumbass. How can I be so careless? I lost my favourite lighter. The one Jessica gave me for my birthday. You know it's going to get that much harder to get out of this dark place. Well, you could, you know, get a torch. The date my fate was decided, number 13th. My aunt was hospitalised just three days before, and Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be where with them. Or there with them, even. But wait, every time I'm writing, my memory is coming back more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in lab coats said something like, Most likely, your family is already. I pray for their safety. <clears throat> Sorry, just clearing my throat. <clears throat> Somehow I managed to get out of the room, but I'm getting this mansion... Getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes. Gold emblem. I have to try and remember. For my own sake. My god. Well, that's troubling in many, many respects. <clears throat>